there used to be movie theaters that weren't AMC. It was flagship cinemas in New Bedford, Mass. And you would come here when the other major chains didn't have good screening times. That was exactly it. It was the same quality of theater. When General Cinemas became AMC, where the projection was totally neglected at our that's, normal theater. That's right. And we would actually come here. We would yeah. seek screenings out here. Yeah. You, me, and Zach saw a big fat Greek wedding here. Yep. That's and right. And three grown men, like, like giggling <laughs> through this, the whole romantic comedy. We actually really enjoyed the movie. I think that you guys liked it so much that I went to a second screening with you about it. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you gotta see this. <laughs> and then there was another more private cinema in the area. Cinema 140, which was actually a place that I went to more because it was cheaper. But didn't they screen different kinds of stuff? They, they were kind Rocky of- Rocky Horror every Saturday night. Reruns of older stuff that was really cool. I remember when I was a kid, they, I, it might've been you, it might've been somebody, they were like, oh, we gotta go to Cinema 140 and see the weird movies. Yes. We went to see Pokemon with Nicky Board in there. Yes. <laughs> Famous art film, Pokemon 2000, <laughs> Le Du Cinema. <laughs> I also remember one of the lunch ladies at the Westport High School also worked there on the weekend. So we would come in. Hi, Rose. How you doing? Hi, kids. One of the last movies we would have seen here was Ted 2. Yep. They just blasted us with AC the whole time. This closed in 2016, so about five, six years ago now. And Cinema 140 closed in about 1999. And this place opened just after that. Mm. So this lasted about 16 years. We used to come here as an alternative to Dartmouth AMC. Then, you know, they became satisfactory and it yep. wasn't quite as attractive. Then Dartmouth AMC did the recliner thing. And in the process, they reduced the amount of seats per theater. Yeah, hardly and any. Suddenly you couldn't get a seat without doing a lot of advanced prep. And I at that before I had a child, I didn't want to do advanced prep before I saw a movie. <laughs> I wanted to waltz into a movie, just whoever was playing the movie. Yeah. So I started coming here as an alternative to AMC yet again because you could just waltz in. They didn't have the recliners. To the bitter end, they just had the ratty looking yep. seats. Some of the theaters switched over to the recliner seats. And if you remember, there was a scare because there was a needle found in one of the seats. That's right here. Really? Yes. yes. Three hypodermic needles found inside a movie theater in New Bedford. Yeah, what's really scary is that a woman was actually pricked by one of those needles. It was actually stuck in between a seat. The woman who was stuck with that used needle is an employee at this movie theater, the Flagship Cinemas in New Bedford. John Crowley, the co-owner of Flagship Cinemas, told me over the phone there's actually been three needles found inside the theater in the last 16 months. Crowley says his staff was warned about the needles before before the employee was stuck and that they're now actively looking for them. But he adds that the leather chairs weren't removed because of the needles. He got rid of them because the theater is in the process of closing down and the leather chairs were just the first to go. I remember specifically a lady coming in with her kids and saying, do you check all the seats for needles? And <laughs> no needles today, I hope. <laughs> and the guy said, no, we keep things clean, but they're not gonna pay staff to go through every single seat to look for them. We don't have a needle promise. Yeah. The female employee who was stuck with the needle was taken to the hospital as a precaution, but that she is fine. Around that same time, there were a lot of fights out here too. This area in New Bedford was right. in decline. I saw Batman v Superman here. Now that movie, has its problems. I remember everybody kind of filed out like we had just been to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> so what remains? It's now a workout world, it's a wow. A workout world, though you can still see clearly where the times used to be for the movies. Now Obviously. Playing. Now, now playing, playing wow. wow. I love that there's clearly no plan to change that. No. <laughs> it's like, Sometimes you gotta do what you can with what you have. The entrance is entirely unchanged. The only thing they did add, I think those windows were new. Uh, maybe not even though. I, I think they're. Really I think they're new. Yeah. yeah, that's flagship cinemas. I miss it. I miss the the cinema. I miss the spirit of film at that time too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the movies were different. Yeah, the two thousands were the peak. Rip, rip, rip. Surprise, surprise! Flagship cinemas is closing. Dirty needles in the chairs and the floor. Fights in the parking lot. Can you imagine why people don't want to go to the theater anymore? Any wonder why Netflix and HBO play so well in the home?